In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element here in Ca3PO42. That's calcium phosphate. So we'll use these rules here and let's see how it works. First thing to note is that this is a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus like we have with ions. A neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers add up to zero. So that's going to be important. Next, if we look at calcium, that's in group two on the periodic table. Elements in group two, plus two oxidation number. Phosphorus, we don't know. It's not here in our rules. Let's just call that X. And then oxygen, it's negative two. That's its oxidation number, except with fluorine or the peroxides. So here, oxygen is going to be minus two. So with this information and the fact that all of that should add up to zero, we can find the oxidation number for the phosphorus. Let's set an equation up. So we have three calcium atoms and there. Each one is plus two. And then we have the one phosphorus, but this two, it applies to everything. So two times the one, we have two phosphorus atoms, which we don't know what they are. They're X plus we have four times the two. So two times four is eight total oxygen atoms. And each oxygen atom has an oxidation number of minus two. And we said all of that equals zero. So now it's just doing the math. Six plus two X minus 16 equals zero. So if we get these over here, we'd have two X equals 10. Divide both sides by two X equals five, positive five, right? So phosphorus here has an oxidation number of plus five. And remember, that's each phosphorus atom. We have two of them and each one has an oxidation number of plus five. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each of the elements here in CA3PO42, calcium phosphate. Thanks for watching.